What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Bottles of Spin and today we'll be looking at something special. Again, I'm <laughs> I'm a bit late, but not as late as with the other ones. This time we are looking at Divine Belaya. We're still like about a month late, I guess, but waited until we opened all of the Belayos in our channel already and we did do uh, Dangerous Belayo not too long ago. So here we are with the latest iteration, uh, Burst Ultimate. Divine Belial. And uh, there are still some uh, other DB bays that we haven't opened yet that came before this, but I figured uh, we would stay uh, up to date at least with Burst Ultimate so that, you know, when the new ones come out, we can battle it out with this guy. But yeah, um, I don't have much to say about this guy, uh, so let's open and see. But before we continue, leave us a like if you've been enjoying this series in our channel and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future episodes of But Does It Spin. So are you ready? Let's go! And here we are with everything out of the box finally. Um, let's start with the blade, which right off the bat you can see that it is very thin. Uh, it is very very thin, which you guys know I don't feel too good about, but you know, um, it does have metal weights on the three blades. It is a very triangular uh, blade and it does have metal weights to them, to this tri-wing blade uh, so that its hits will be carried out a little bit heavier. But because it is so thin and light that uh, it's not such a heavy hit. Um, but yeah, this also, if you look here, it does have those four spots, those dents. Uh, for you to put the gear in. Um, you can put the F gear here. We are not gonna put any gears in this video. We're gonna test it out stock with no gears. Uh, but if you so desire, you can put an F gear here and it will match very nicely. Um, but yeah, moving on to the core. This is the Belial 2. Uh, it is the same one that came in Dangerous Belial, just a different color. Uh, but it is fantastic. I do like these colors with the red background. As you can see, I did put the stickers on already, uh, and it looks fantastic. Just like the Dangerous Belial one, it does come with the burst lock mechanism, which is always nice. Uh, in some of the other YouTubers' videos, supposedly they were having issues with this. Um, I'll have to see if mine does the same thing or not, but you know, uh, hopefully not. The armor is a three, which does have its weight distributed in a triangular fashion. Um, most of the most of the armor pieces they were, uh, especially in in the previous uh, Belial's, they were very symmetrical with uh, the two armor piece. But the three, I think, is fantastic, especially in a in a blade like this, which has three impact points. Uh, the triangular one can work better. It is right spinning so it will be spinning like that uh, if you put it in this fashion or maybe if you put it in in this fashion the weight uh, will be right in front of this blade you'll be right on this blade and and right on this blade as well so you know uh, it will help uh, the hits be slightly better instead of just with these small weights in them. So, you know, this three works fantastic here. Uh, if it was a nine, it would be better, but three, you know, it, you can make do with a three. The Forge Disc, of course, is a Nexus, which is the same one that came in Dynamite Belial. And uh, as you all know, the S gear can be put in this, and you know, uh, it will significantly improve the Beyblade. But we are not going to put the SQ here because, um, like I mentioned, we are going to be testing this guy completely stock without any of the gears. This may look similar, but it's not the Venture. It is the Adventure. And uh, the difference is that the red tab is not completely circular and uh, made of rubber. It is hard plastic. And uh, when you put the, the V gear on, uh, it does completely go in, leaving, leaving only uh, the flat tip there. But 
Uh, like I said, we're not gonna put any gears here, so we will be trying it out the way it is. So yeah, uh, those are the parts that came with it. Let's assemble it and test it out. And that's it, folks. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as you saw, Divine Belial did lose every single battle. He didn't win any single one. Um, I'm guessing uh, Takara told me they did, uh, did a lot of tests with the new gears on it. So maybe it will be a lot better with the gears on uh, or even with newer gears that are still coming on it. Uh, but as it is, the way it is stock, it is probably one of the worst Beyblades I have ever seen. Possibly the worst DB Bay. Uh, of course, we haven't tested him out with all the other Bays, but he was worse than Dangerous Belio stock. He was worse than Savior Valkyrie stock. And of course, he was worse than Perfect Dynamite Belio. And yeah, it was Perfect Dynamite Belio, but uh, he did lose pretty bad. He didn't receive any burst, of course, but still, I expected him to put up a little bit more of a fight. But you know, eventually, as we get the other gears, we will put the gears on him, the newer gears on him, uh, to test him out. But until then, this is what we have. Take the conclusions you like from that. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos like this. Uh, we are mostly focusing on Beyblades as you can see, but sometimes we bring other kinds of spin tops and sometimes even stuff that are not spin tops at all, but we try to spin just to see if they do. So if you're interested in that, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay nerdy.